Recently, you guys have seemed to enjoy our Wheel of Non-Ideal videos. So today, we decided we wanted to do another one. But today, we're doing something a little different. There are 14 slots on the Wheel of Non-Ideal. There are 14 clubs in your golf bag. When you spin the Wheel of Non-Ideal, whatever slot it lands on, that's the club you gotta play. It almost hit me in the... We are playing Sunflower Hills, the big course this time, not the junior course. I mean, I'm probably gonna get putter on the first hole, he's gonna get 60 degree wedge, and you're probably gonna get driver because, well. Steven's going first. We're gonna pick our clubs before we go to the tee because we don't wanna grab our bags and walk up to the tee off the cart. Agreed. Nonetheless, Steven goes first. No way, driver? Oh my gosh, Fishy wedge. Four iron. Four iron, not bad. Four iron's really bad. good, actually. That's good, I'll take it, boys. Matt okay. is up second. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna Come be? Come on, baby, be nice to me. Be nice. Don't be. No, 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 no. Don't be the wheel of not ideal. I'll take four iron. Here today. Uh, All right, here, here today. I swear, if we get three four iron, guys, that's... it could happen. No way. Oh! We literally all got four. What are the odds of that? Honestly, one, like one in, one in, one in 14 because that's how many slots are on the wheel. All right, so here we are, guys, out here on the red tees. We're playing the red men tees. Steven is going to be going first. I will be going second. And then, of course, Garrett Clark will be going next. I can't hit a four iron. I have Karachi's on. There's there's a lot of problems here. You don't look like a golfer AKA today. AKA the no. moon shoes. All right, so obviously hole one is a 415-yard par four. Straight away, you guys have seen it so many times before. The odds were worse than 114. It was like it's so. like 34 and a half. Divide it by three, and you get you know 50. So 53 actually. Yeah, x y m x plus b. Oh, that honestly, chunky. that's gonna do. That's chunky. That is not even past the blue tee box. That was really good. Matt, shot number one, four iron, same club. Not really much explaining to do here. That is straight down the middle. Right down the fairway, folks. Oh no, where'd he go? We all look like hacks other than Matt, so just Steven and I. Yeah, I chunked mine about four yards. All right, Steven on his second shot with a spin. What does he get? Six iron, not bad. That's like as good as you can get. Yeah. We've gotten really lucky so far. So Steven ended up obviously short of the fairway because he chunked it. I don't know, mine's somewhere over there. Not good. Steven with the six iron. He's got like 260, so he's gonna go ahead and hit. Really good, right up the center of the fairway, left side. All right, so there's where my ball ended up, just in the left rough, kind of in these trees. Not the best tee shot, if I do say so myself. Garrett's going to have kind of a tough look. He better get a good club here, um, or else he's going to be kind of in the pit. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and spin first person. Let's see what I got. Five yeah. iron's such a good club. Like, you can go low right under the trees here, get the job done that way. <laughs> yeah. All right, I got like 220 guys, five iron in hand. This is actually Matt's club. Under the trees and then over the trees. What? Did he go? Well, how did you do that? I, don't know I think, I don't know. I might be on the green. I might be just short, but I hit that he right at it. it. So that's where Steven's second shot ended up just there within 100 yards. Matt's tee shot. I'm past the 150. I'd say I'm about 140 out, maybe. Really yeah. solid tee shot. I uh, kind of got a little lucky. 52. What? That's perfect. <laughs> Guys, that's, um, we call that the perfect club choice. I don't get it. He did this in the first video. We're gonna hope he drops off like he did last time. This is actually the same club he would use if he was playing a normal round of golf. Right at it. Be good. A little long. That's perfect. A little long, but what a shot. All right, we're currently at Steven's ball. Trying to see what he's gonna get here. Anything under six iron. I mean, over. over. Anything over six iron. Yeah. What the? Yeah. Everyone's getting lucky so far. This is unreal. This is unreal, guys. First of all, we all get four irons on the first tee, same club. Then they both got 52 degree from about 52 degree yardage. And then I get five iron from about a five iron yardage. Is that hard? Question mark? Not quite a full swing. That was like a quarter swing. And I'm off the back of the green. A little long. Left. Never saw my ball land, but it was directly at the green. So it might be long or short. We That's still don't right see it. Down. All right, so my ball did end up being a little long. That's where it ended up, backside of the green, just long of the green. That's where the pin is. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a spin right now and then go grab my club. Coming up. Oh my gosh. What is this? Dude, this is all perfect. Okay, I'm sorry, we haven't had to hit any crazy shots, but uh, 56 degree chip shot, that's basically what I would normally hit. Third shot here, Let's get up and down for par. Where did she go? 
That was terrible. Okay, so here's Steven on his next shot right here. Here today, here today. What's he gonna get? Putter. Ah, uh, I don't know about that one, Steve. All right, Steven with the putter just left and long of the green. Ready? A little short there. All right, well, Steven just gave it another spin off camera. Sorry, I didn't get that. Um, Steven's for bogey here. Steven with six iron, uh, bump and run. Honestly, looks good. Really good. Six. I'll take it with a six iron. I never hit those shots. Matt's putt at birdie down the hill. No way, putter. Okay, 56, that's not bad. All right, so to speed up the play and to make it more enjoyable to watch, since Matt just rolled a 56 degree on the greens, uh, his putt down the hill is about 25 feet left to right. He's gonna use that 56 degree for every putt. I'm gonna roll whatever I get. Uh, that's the club I have to use for every putt. Hybrid, not bad. All right, now let's see what Steven has to putt with. No way. Oh! That's fine, I can putt with anything. All right, Matt here, down the hill, left to right. What do you see? Honestly, it, like you said, downhill, left to right. Um, I'm not very good with putting with my wedges, as you guys have seen in Garrett's recent videos. Oh my gosh. Short. I feel like the greens are gonna be fast. Hey, that's, wait a minute. Nice spot. That's a bogey for me on hole one. All right, Steven, for what is he putting for again? Double. Double. Gotta go. Gotta little, go. A little right. Very good. This is exactly what I did the last time when I was using actual gloves without the Drano right here. So I'm putting for boat or for par here. Same thing. I just gotta kind of get a grip. I kind of saw Steven's putt a little bit. It's gonna be up the hill. Oh, I had it there too. All right. After hole one, Matt is one over. I'm one over, and Steven is three over. Matt is going first on hole two, par five down the hill to the left. Let's see what he gets. Six iron, really good. God, hybrid, I would have half I liked it. All right, let's see what we got here. Ah! Putter. <laughs> no way! I got putter. <laughs> okay. You say something going on. Nope. No way. Six iron. Me and Matt are on the same. What? Got a good bounce back almost in the fairway. I actually pured that probably about like as far as a pitching wedge would go. That went like 150 probably. So surprised I hit that well. You hit that really well. And it hit the tree and went straight right. All right, six iron a hand for Matt. Uh, using the old blade. Currently editing the video you're watching and I forgot to say that we actually mixed and matched golf clubs to create one set. That's why I said old blade, uh, some of Matt's clubs, some of the thrift store clubs, and some of my clubs. Absolutely smashed down the left side of the fairway. Cool. Destroyed, let me know how far it went. I'm guessing not 3,000 yards. All right, Steven with the same club, six iron. Smashed it Honestly, as well. Smashed. Right side of the fairway. Maybe just in the rough, but still really good. Flip check, he said it himself, which means he has to do it. All right guys, my ball ended up just here in the left rough. We still got about 350 into the hole. Yeah, I deal. I'll take that any day of the week. All right, got to use Matt's seven iron here. Just a little baby draw. Hopefully we get it in range to go at the green. I chunked that one just a bit, but I did hit it straight down the middle of the fairway. We're gonna have probably 150 or shorter into the hole, which is honestly all I was asking for. Steven's ball ended up just over here in the right side of the fairway. Right now. It's a little windy, not going. Let's see what he gets here. I'm guessing six iron. He's guessing six iron, is he correct? Three wood! Three wood? What? That's perfect. So Steven is roughly 300 yards away. This is exactly the club he is needing. Straight away in the fairway. Second shot, par five. Right oh, the no, tree. No, 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 no. Alright, a little right. I'm in the other fairway. I'm gonna have to wait for the other people to go. We're gonna get ourselves a nice, I'm guessing, four iron. We're gonna play draw here. Alright, so Matt is roughly 275 from the pin. He needs something good. Putter. He's got a little putter action there. So this is the shot Matt's looking at here. And he's got putter. Not what he likes to see. That is perfect. Matt's gonna chunk this straight what two yards. Doing? Really good. Flop shot. shot putter. You 
went like 70 yards. That's impressive. Here's where Matt's second shot ended up down the hill, obviously. He's got a shot just kind of over that bunker. There's where my second shot ended up, just past the 150 stake. He's roughly like 200 out. Let's see what I can spin here. Seven, seven it works iron. just as well as well. The so seven iron, got my own seven iron here. I know I hit my clubs, because they're my clubs. Left, Get sit. Get out of the water. Get out of the water. They went right in the water. Wait, what? It almost hit me in the face. Wait, who hit? This dude. He didn't huh? even say anything. That's his ball. This dude literally almost hit us, I guess. I didn't hear no four. They went right in the water, the water, the water, the water, the water, the water. Water. Dude, it almost hit you and it came right across my face. Why do you not call four? I don't know. We're fine. I don't know. He's just staring at me right now. I'm about to go. I heard Look it. Look at it. Look at it. It came right through the cart. Okay, okay, so that's where his ball ended up. It came right through the cart. I was here. Garrett was there and it went right in through the cart. <laughs> like, that had to have been within five feet. Dude, all I saw was it come right past my face. All right, real talk though, guys. If you ever hit a shot towards people, especially if it's a line drive directly at them, please call four. Like the guy didn't say anything and he's probably not gonna come get his ball. So here's where Steven's ball ended up in their fairway. They were at the tee when Steven hit it over here. So they were nowhere close. Steven's got a shot down there up and over the trees. Let's see what he gets. Six iron. He can play a little flop six iron, start at left and maybe get it to land soft. He was kind of looking for a pitching wedge from here though. Just into the bunker, not what he likes to see, but still, that was actually very impressive that he got it up that fast. Here's where my ball ended up, just within the 150. We're probably about like 125, 130 to the pin. Kind of straight away, down the hill, into the wind. All right, let's see what my spin can get me. I need a 52 degree. 52 would be legendary. Eight iron's actually not that big. Ah, play it low, man, watch her go. Eight iron's not too bad. I left you short too. Steve and I are both in the bunker. Gotta get up now far from there and not get it. Matt, where are you at? All right, so I am just on the left side of the green over there by the water. So he's got about like 25, probably 25 yards left to the pin. Let's see what he can get here. That's actually pretty good. Pitching wood. That is perfect. That's actually, that's really perfect. good. So that's where Steven is just short of the green. He's gonna go ahead and spin it as well to see oh, what he gets just so we don't have to walk over and grab more clubs. Yes. What? Yes. 56 degree. So obviously I'm in the bunker. Let's see what we can get. <laughs> Putter out of the bunker, not looking good for me. What do you rate this challenge one through 10? Is it? it? Once again, it's fun. So I'd say like an eight, but I haven't hit a good shot yet. And that is my bad. <laughs> Still got a putt though. had to take a drop so he hit one two so he's hitting Matt was hitting his fifth shot from down there he's got a putt at bogey all right guys so my ball ended up long in the green as you saw I kind of bladed the putter but anyway we're gonna see what we have to hit up the hill please do not give me putter five just five iron's not that good at all not too bad. all right so we're just gonna be using the same clubs that we got for each of our shots on the green since we kind of got to play this hole quick. Steven's ball ended up there. I'm using five iron. Steven's still using his 56 degree. I got mine for double. Steven is for par. Go, go. All right, that'd be a good bogey if he can make that actually. This for bogey for Matt. Honestly been a rough hole. We haven't got the best club choices yet. Come on, come on. Oh, it's perfect distance. All right, Matt here for double. All right, not bad. Steven for bogey. Go in. <sighs> nice. All right, full analysis update of that last hole. Kind of had to speed golf because a group of two people literally just came from the parking lot, like went back into the fairway and started hitting shots towards the green. And so we we're like, I don't know why they're here or where they came from, but we just had to finish really quick. Steven, where are you at? I'm plus five, you're plus three, you're plus three, so I have a chance to come back, but I haven't hit a one good shot this whole time. Hey, row back, go hard. If you guys wanna get any row back apparel, you can use GM15 as a code. Any first purchase, you get 15% off.
and back to the last hole to decide the winner of the challenge. All right, hole four is our last hole of the day. It is the third hole. We decided we were gonna skip hole three. We wanted to get a par four, par five, and par three in today's video. 145 to that green or that pin, kind of in the front right, just over that bunker. We're probably gonna spin by the cart and see what happens. Kind of been a little light today. The energy's a little low. Work kind of pissed me off. I keep going in, hot salad, cold breadsticks, dishing out, and I get a $5, $1, half a cent tip. Steven's gonna go ahead and spin. He will be the first person to go on this hole. That's the perfect club. Are you serious? Yeah, that's the yardage. Uh, let's see what we can get. Ah. What's new, folks? A little hybrid to finish the day. Okay. Hopefully, Matt gets driver. That would be sad. That's perfect. I hope he hit the water. All right, since we were trying to play quick, guess what we're doing? Uh, Steven is gonna spin for what he's putting with on the green. And so am I, and so is Matt. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and get that out of the way before we actually play the hole. It's not bad. This is what I've been doing this whole time, but it's cool. What? I'm gonna be putting with a hybrid. You're kidding. How did he actually guess that? Let's see what I get. Give me something. Four iron. Right. Not bad. All right, I'm gonna try and run it up the fairway here. No way. Okay. Not good. Not good at all. Hey, Peter. He actually does got a pretty good chance because he's got pitching wedge in his hand. Uh, straight down the hill, this is the club he would normally hit. So let's see what can happen. Right at it. Might need to go a little bit. Folks, hole in one. Get out of here. What? What a shot. That was trailing for the hole. Steven really needs to hit a clutch shot here. Yeah. Get out of the bunker. Get right in the bunker. In the bunker. The good thing is, here's where my ball ended up, just left of the green. Matt, once again, has like a six footer for birdie. I do have a chance. He's putting with a hybrid, which is about the best club you could putt with other than putter. All right, let's see what we get here for my chip. My hair's crazy today. I'll take that. Steven's in the bunker, so he's going to go ahead and spin right now as well. Anything would be good except for a uh, driver. Eight. Eight iron's not bad. Sit down. All right. Looks like they are making me spin again since I barely missed the green. 56 degrees. Steven's in the bunker with an eight iron. Oh my gosh. What a shot with an eight iron too. That's the first time I've ever done. So this is what I'm looking at with the 56 degree. Just kind of straight up the hill. Uh, I really need to tip this in to even have any sort of a chance. Not bad. Bogey on the last hole, finish at four over. Not very good. To make this and to finish at five over, definitely much needed here. For birdie. Nice. We almost got hit. That was that was the highlight of the round. That was honestly me. the highlight. You didn't even notice. Yeah. Until I said something. Until we you still got... didn't care. So I finished it three over. Garrett finished it four over. And you finished it six over because he's bogey the last hole. <laughs> ah! Come here. Come here. And now we're kinda we're kinda just getting the job done that way. So we had a lot of fun here, seriously guys. It was a fun challenge. Rollback still does go hard, but uh, we did we did still have some fun out here on the wheel of not ideal. Let us know in the comments if you want to see some more wheel ideal. We'll see you later then. Tomorrow. Yesterday. The white van. That's the important part.